starting. Hello. Oh, hi. Are we on? Yes. Oh, on. hi. It's Karen. And Tim. <laughs> From stepping on the back porch. Running a little late today, Karen, but, but working on it. Karen, you said okay. So I thought okay meant okay. <laughs> I just meant okay. I thought I had everything together. Oh, well, let's start over then. Yeah, okay. But we have just a couple cards to share. And then today, uh, on Monday, I showed some of the swaps that I had received on the cruise. And I know a bunch of you wanted to start learning how to make them. So we're making a couple of them today. And I'm also going to be sharing how, how I do a pattern from something, how I create patterns from an idea that I see. So that would be fun. But first, we have a little bit of mail, but I have to wait for Kim, Tim to come by me. You, so let me uh, mention, this was the... top one is just for you. Okay, the swap that I made for the cruise was this one, and I just, it's on my blog today. So if you want to look, and there is, there is a video. That's okay, it's just a scrap. There is a video, but this is just kind of a fun folder that you can put in. Gift cards, candy, photos, anything. So it's just kind of a fun, and it's just four envelopes with no cards. So just look at my blog, KarenTitus.com, today for that in a short video tutorial. Good, we have people on. Oh, hi, Kathy, Vicki, Fran, everybody. Thank you so much. So we have to look at a little mail first. Oh. Now, I thought <laughs> when, when Patty, Patricia sent us a card and there was a stamp in there, I just, I didn't even look at it. I just, <laughs> I just assumed that Karen, So we shared the card a different time and then Karen, found. Karen had borrowed a stamp to her and that she was returning it. But little did I know that. What does it say? On second thought, this is second glance. This is what she sent. Uh, who is this quote by? Imagination is more important than knowledge. And whose son was born 100 years to the day after this guy? <laughs> Albert Einstein. And so Tim has a very special place. I do. Heart. You know, he loves little, uh, little connections. So that is awesome. And I love this quote because it is so little true. Little connections, our son was born. You know, you know, our son's a genius. Yeah, right? If you have all the knowledge in the world but no imagination, you that's know, right. it's like, I don't know. But imagination is more important than knowledge, so that's good. And Thank imagination you, leads to more knowledge. So I had to show that. So that was really fun. Got to dig to the bottom of these packages. <laughs> that's right. This is for Karen only. <laughs> oh, I need already watched our YouTube video today, so that's good. I'm going to just start. So you might want to follow me on YouTube. I'm going to be start putting... Just a short video a week on some project on there, which would be fun. Okay, Pat Nagy from Missouri. Look at this, just for you on the back. Oh, is that cool? Oh, it's the bird stamp with a whole bunch of masking. How cool is that? And there's a bunch of different birds. Do you see how cool that is? So it's like standing out in a crowd. How cool is that? And it says, you are one in a million or at least a thousand. <laughs> <laughs> you inspired this card layout when you masked a bird <laughs> during the online retreat. Whoa, and she took that masking to a whole new level. That is awesome. I love that what to is, make one what stand out. What does masking mean? You know where you cover a bird and then you stamp another so they look behind each other? Oh, I got have it. Have you ever done that, Tim? No. We'll, we'll have to have Tim, you know, that's, that's one of the... do that on card. Because it's a technique he's not familiar with. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> That is awesome. It sounds like an advanced technique. <laughs> and next, from Trish Sperlin from Florida. Oh, I loved this. Another little bird card. And oh, this is a trip down memory lane. Isn't that awesome? And home tweet home. Look at that. Just That's for you, another just for you. Welcome home and thanks for everyone. I don't think I've ever gotten a welcome home card in my life. I said, that is so cool. That is just um. You know, there are a whole lot of fun reasons that we can surprise and delight someone, and that's what this is. <laughs> when you think of somebody on a trip, that's so awesome. <laughs> and we got two of them. And another welcome home. I said, and this, this is so great. So this is a record. I think it's Brenny. Um, Brenna, Brenna Bergen. I, I can't remember. I think I can spell your name, but I'm not sure you say it. Brenna, Brenna. From Iowa. <laughs> it's a fancy name. I love that Iowa. name. Um, and I'm trying to think of what... Um, it's a Scandinavian name? I don't know what it is. Okay, you tell the card. Did you hear what terrible thing I just said? No. It's a fancy name for a person from Iowa. So that, oh. is, that is not <laughs> no, nice. No, that's, not, that's, that's not, not nice. nice. At all. You can't say that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, it's, it's a nice name. It is. <laughs> we love names. Ciao.
Look at this. Ciao. It is a, the domes, the blue domes from the Greek Orthodox Church in the Greek Isles, in Santorini. That is so, so cool. And that's Tim's new famous uh, favorite word. Ciao. So that Ciao. is so cool. Read it. And a welcome home. That is so great. She said she had to make a card inspired by the images shared by Stampin' Up. That is very cool. Just love it. Very, very cool. And you know, there's only a few days left in July, so there's only a few days left. You guys know that are getting the mystery boxes. Um, they're just filled with stuff. So you get at least half back of what you placed your order. So if your order is $60, you get $30. So, you know, so on and on like that. There's only a few days left. On and on. The first batch has gone out, but you know a lot of them are going to go out later in the month because I have to do these in batches and have Holly send me some labels. So it's great, but they're so fun packing up. I love doing that and appreciating you guys. This was my um, appreciation month. Next week, it'll be all about what we're doing for August. But keep in mind, there's only a few days left to get this. Okay, we are ready to create today. Yes. Okay, you want to bring that oh, down? Bring it down. I will. I will. Just wait. Read some more so messages. we're talking about. Read some more messages. Yeah, if things are blurry, often it helps. Well, the replay is often better, but also anytime you're having trouble to go out and then come back in again, often changes things too. So, um, but maybe it's because we're jet lagged. Yeah, that's right. Maybe so we're, we're, the we're just ones. dizzy, you know. So, uh, this was one of the projects that people really wanted to see, and this was by Juanita Vick, and I could not find. I tried looking up her website. Pinterest and website, and I couldn't find directions on this to give her credit, but I just want to make sure you give her credit. And then I'm going to show you how I take an idea like this and just create a pattern. And the way I do this, it can be done in any size. And I'm actually doing one that's small like this, but I was thinking afterwards, wouldn't this be awesome to do in a bigger, it could be like the centerpiece. You could put a dog on each side, or especially if you're announcing getting a new dog to kids, wouldn't this be a fun thing? But then you could do more of a bigger family um, kind of gift thing inside. So anyway, uh, shout out to Jarmila Vick. Okay, and we're going to talk about how I kind of looked at this. So this is what I'm using, and now with my new plans here, this will be on the blog tomorrow morning. Um, so you don't worry about writing this down, but you can also otherwise screen capture. But to just show you, and this just happened to fit inside. I had some of these at home and I just wanted to see what fit inside here. So I'm basically using, I guess not, not quite, mine's probably a little tighter fit, but I start with what I'm putting in a box first. And so this seemed perfect and I attach them, you can kind of see there with some dimensionals because that'll keep them nice and tight. And, oh, thanks, you guys that share. Thank you, Karen, and others that share. And um, so this is what I came up with what I needed. So two two-inch squares, a five-inch by two-inch piece, and then a three-inch by one-and-a-half for the roof. Okay, so I'm going to set those aside first. And this, I'm going to score at one-inch, two-inch, three-inch, and four. So that's as easy as it comes. So first I'm gonna make the little box that fit the candy. So here's how I decided. I measured this and it was just a little bit under two inches. So that's how I decided how long to make it. Then I measured it this way and that is one inch. So that became five inches and I'll show you why. So, and by the way, this is the way I teach my classes. We'll have a new round of classes coming up in the fall. But I really love sharing ideas and showing you how to make changes, make things your own, and um, you know adapt them. And then everyone shares their takes on an idea. So I always just think that's fun because then we all learn from each other, you know. So and you know this little house. I mean this this idea could be cute for someone moving to a new house. I mean look at all the things you could do for a little house or a welcome home tree hanging on somebody's door. Now that, you know, now that I will think of that in the future because I never have. So you see when I close this up, this is what I'm doing. This will give it a little extra reinforcement. That's why I have the fifth one inch there. And then you're going to take a stronger adhesive, stronger than snail. I personally like to use tear and tape because 
You can tear I it. just don't like the mess of the uh, multi-purpose glue, but the multi-purpose glue is also a good choice. So anything you have that is a strong adhesive, because this will have. Thanks, you guys, that are still welcoming us home. Can you use Elmer's glue? You could try that, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> it's a white glue that turns clear. That's right. So is our multi-purpose, and it's a nice strong one. And I have no idea how they compare. You know, you know, you guys, I was never a stamper before I became a demonstrator. <laughs> I just signed up because Tim had lost his job and I needed to find something. I was homeschooling the kids and thought, oh, I'll try this a couple months and I'll either make money or quit. So I have never used anything that Stampin' Up! doesn't sell, you know, unless it's a product that we don't have, like, an, like candy. I will use candy. <laughs> but I don't know anything about other products on the market because this is just, you know, my thing. So here's my little square container. And I don't know if it's a square, but see, this is, I'm just building my own. So you see how that goes? So then I just decided that the two inch squares, that will be my front and back. So I have two of these and I want to make a roof on this. Um, I hope this is my cutting blade because I see one of my blades is missing on here. Uh, and I'm going to do them two at a time here. I did not take it. Oh, yeah, Tim's always getting into my craft stuff and messing them up. Yeah, right. Okay. So, okay, and go back and forth. Okay, that one might need a little bit of extra help, but just seeing it because I actually use my, I have a chopper one I use in the other room. So this is just to show. I like to do these two together because I don't care if they don't match on the two sides, but I want them to match together so that, my riff will be equal if that makes sense. So I would just trim that off, okay? Good enough is good enough. Okay. So this becomes my front and back. Well, I don't need to because then I'm going to run them through the brick folder. So oh. this is what I'm gonna end up with. Okay. So now I have this and I'll have my front and back. So I might as well go ahead and put those on. And, oh, so many of you have welcomed us home. I said, that's just great. Isn't this just an adorable idea? I think uh, this is really fun. And, okay, so I'm gonna do those. And then, okay. Uh, this is the hardest thing to do on camera. Off camera, it's no problem at all. And the easiest way to do it really is to take my little that's not on here, but if you take a little, the little um, pickup thing for the rhinestones, you know, that little pickup tool, and just press on the end, then it'll pop up a corner. But see, now I'm doing fine. You know, it's the pressure of being watched. What can we say? So now I'll put the front on. And then I'm gonna do the same for the back. So you could make a whole village of different sizes. Oh, see, now I'm gonna just get, and get really creative and do a whole fun thing. And if these were, say, if you were doing, um, let's say you're welcoming somebody new to the neighborhood and you're having a little tea, wouldn't it be fun to have assorted sizes and stuff of houses and they would all, the box could be the same, this front could be made differently, and everyone would pick one to go home, but meanwhile you'd have a fun little centerpiece with, you know, or a new home shower. But anyway, see, I just start thinking of all the other things we could do with this, and I just think that's very fun. So here is our house. Oh, the gingerbread house in the Christmas catalog. Absolutely. That's a really good idea. This is how you could make a fake gingerbread house, which would stay together much better for me. Okay, and then we have the roof. So for the roof, I have a three inch by one and a half. I just measured this for what I wanted. And then I put it through the corrugated. corrugated, but I want to see, this is the first one that went through, and you see, ah, uh, that just really wasn't going to work, because it, some of these really thick ones, sometimes it can easily lead to tearing, do you see how a lot of that can lead to tearing? Well, here is the fix for that. You are just going to, whoop, I didn't mean to spritz it that much, doesn't have, whoop, I didn't spritz it, Tim, do you have to be that wet? I was trying to show this without getting my table wet about like this wet, <laughs> and then that kind of has the fibers um, a little wet so it won't tear, and then when it dries, it'll still be just like this, and it dries in no time at all, but I 
Still thought we'd save the time of doing that. Okay, so now I have my pieces, and of course the trickiest part is getting this roof on. So I'll show you what I did, or what I'm going to do, because I haven't done it yet. Here's my plan. Sure, you sound like me. <laughs> yes, I know. But since this is about, um, you know, kind of how you're going to create things. So this is what I was going to do, because I use this all the time. So I thought, okay, by putting this two-way glue on my silicone pad and then I'm going to take these edges see and this will dry these will dry clear so it is not going to matter if it shows but I'm thinking this will be strong enough to do that and then I'm going to see where my middle is yeah just fold it right there. Now here's the trick. I need to hold it a little bit. And I'm going to see if this is enough to... Okay, so what should we talk about while I hold this? <laughs> we'll see if this works. With the corrugated, I wonder if enough parts... Otherwise, we'll come up with another plan. Uh, I think the fine tip glue pen would actually work really well because you could run it along the little thing there. And you know what? If that doesn't work, what I would do is just score a little bit along here, fold the flap over, and then you have a little roof line to do that with. Now, I'm hoping that makes sense because this is all about trying things. So if I don't like how this worked, I'll just change it to that idea. So nothing is a, you know, and, and if you were gonna make a bunch of these, you really might come up with better ideas along the way. That's why it's always fun to do even a card, to do more than just one because then you kind of start tweaking your idea and that's just kind of fun. So this is just one idea because I know she didn't fold hers over, but I can easily show later. <laughs> Julie says her wish list is the whole holiday catalog. <laughs> uh, yes, oh, you guys are still part of our community. Yes, Tim went to the eye doctor. They're sending him to his own doctor to make sure it's not little mini eye strokes or all that. And, uh, and then going on, because it is more than just floaters. He'd been in earlier and it had been floaters. But I am going to see if this is going to hold it enough to stay. Actually, Tim, what? you're my assistant. Would you hold this? Oh, I'd love to. While it's drying, and then we'll come back to it. So can I say something? Mm -hmm. A package just came and it was so heavy that I assumed it was catalogs. But no, it is just stuff that you ordered. It's paper. I needed to do some paper. <laughs> we can order as demonstrators the catalogs on August 1st. I'll be ordering them right away and I'll put a link up if you need the catalog. You're getting it automatically if you've ordered from me in six months, the last six months. Otherwise, you need to fill out a form if you're not already working with someone. So the second idea we're going to take from scratch, this is by Genevieve Cole. And this is another just great, simple little wrap that you could put anything in. Okay, so, okay. <laughs> okay. So first I'm going to show one with the exact um, things because I'm with the exact measurements and then I'm going to show you again from scratch on a different size but again keep in mind these really don't matter because I started with what went inside and let's see did this I think I pretty much took her measurements although I'm not sure but you see this is perfect to put in two Kit Kat by um, two Kit Kat bars and uh, my mom and her roommate at the nursing home love chocolate. So see, this will be a little gift we can bring into them and then they can each have. Mm -hmm. We brought pizza last night and they're going, where's the chocolate dessert? Because the uh, candy machine they have was out of <laughs> chocolate. So they like to go get something and split. <laughs> so I we just thought this will, so I thought this will be a fun little, a fun little thing. Okay, so again, so I'll show it from this, but then I'm just going to explain, you know, it's all variegated <laughs> oh good you guys like the dog house see I wish I could take credit for that I can't I'm trying to give credit to Janelle I just don't know where else to send you but I'm thrilled that she did it and then you could take it and turn it into everything else okay so this is eight and a half by three and three quarter because again I measured um, this is like one and uh, one and a half and this part is like three quarters so see I'm just taking my measurements and the width on this was three and three quarters so I'm just taking my measurements right from this if my candy bar were different or I had some what was the other thing I was going to use um, little mints uh, 
a little mint thing. Those. I was going to do one with that, and then I just thought, oh, I'll just I'll just do this. But you know, this will work for anything. They're called. Um, what are they called? So now I'm going to score. I have to put this this way so I can read it. At one and a half because that's the one part, and then two and a quarter because it's going one and a half and then three quarters. And then a one and a half brings me up to three and three quarters, and then four and a half. So that's gonna, and then I'm gonna fold this up. Are they called tic tacs? Oh yes, tic tacs. See, this was the other thing that I picked up because this would work in it. This would work well too, but I'd be changing. It's not gonna fit in this one. That's where you start with what you're using, and it'll just work. And to see how that picks right up. So I'm going to, I really like to rounded corners, so I am going to round my corners too. So Genevieve, I loved your little little idea here. And now I'll just change it and make it my own, and that's just what I encourage you guys to do. Then on here again, I'm gonna put some stronger tape. Oh, Andy's mints, oh, that would be good. Mm -hmm. I try to buy things that I can leave alone, you know, but um, I don't know, that, that Twix I'm gonna have to get rid of. <laughs> Okay, but yeah, there are a lot of fun ideas. Okay, so I'm gonna peel this off. And I'm just gonna wrap this up. Okay, so here is my base. And do you see how similar it is? So then I'm just gonna take these two sheets of paper. So I'll put one down here. So I'm going to switch it up and use a different paper, different stamps. Oh, and this I'm, I'm gonna want to fit the rounded tops again. I always do my punches upside down so that I can tell. And then I start holding it and then grab it like that. So I just hold the paper and then take two to do it. Lavar says, it's a dirty job, but somebody has to do it. Eat up all this stuff. <laughs> okay, so to see here's now, here's my base, and then I am going to add some little things. So, okay, so this is going to be for my mom and her friends. So I thought I'll put on here, we are the best of friends, which means I'm going to put Two birds on the top, but my bird flew away. Hmm. No, it didn't, my dear. They're fake. Would you go look on the table? I'll have to go get one while Tim's doing his thing. I think you should maybe give them an update on how I'm doing. <laughs> I'm still holding Oh, it. Tim is still holding that, so what I'm giving him. So it'll be a real test at the end. <laughs> oh, yes, he's not going to move. Whoa, look how straight I got that on. That's pretty impressive, Karen. Let's see if you can do that any better. Let's move it up a tad, and then we're going to put some flowers. I'm just gonna plain decorate, and then I'm gonna fork another bird, and then we're the best of friends. And be a little treat the next time we bring in. This will be dessert that we'll bring in for them. And I think just, you know, all of these would be fun little, um tea party favors or anything like that. So we'll have to show the total finished ones at the end. <laughs> Patricia said she's working again, gets in the way of her crafting life. Boy, isn't that the truth. So I'm gonna set these aside. And I'm going to do one, because since I'm really showing how you do this from scratch. I can find no birds. Okay, I'll find one. When he is busy. Okay, so now we are going to do a Maya one. And we're going to use Milk Duds. And Tim is going to decorate this, so I think you might have an idea of what stamp set he might be using. <laughs> but I'm going to show how we would do the same idea from scratch. So I need my, okay. First thing, I'm going to measure this. And this is six and a quarter. So I cut my paper six and a half. It's six and a half by 11. Now this time, 
I can't wrap the whole thing to make it sturdier because I won't have enough left at the top. So we can just easily adapt things. So I'm going to look at the side thing and the side thing is one inch. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how I go along and do this. So I'm gonna score at one inch and at two inches. Oh, back to school for teachers and put in these little things in here too, yes. Anything would be fun. So now you can see how this is going to be. This is going to go on my top. Okay. And now I could measure this just like I did there, or I can even make it simpler and just do this. Let me see how now I can just. I'll do that right there. And then I'm going to do this right here. <laughs> So I hope you kind of get the thing of this, that measurements really don't matter. When people say, how do you get the patterns for that? You know, it really doesn't matter. You can use the exact measurements I did for this if you're using Twix. Is it Trix or Twix? I don't even know. But if you want to use a different candy, then you're kind of just stuck. You know, otherwise you're stuck looking for things that fit your little package. Trix are for kids. Okay, I had a little hard getting that totally in there. So since I know it's an inch, I'm going to just do this and do an inch. Okay. Now, how cool is that? And here we have the next, the next one. So I have to say something that Milk does. Now, my thought about this was, you know, um, so here's grandmother talk for you, but my grandson and I, when we play games, you know, oh, that was a dud, you know, or like if we throw a ball and it's way off or something doesn't work. So we're always saying that was a dud. And sometimes we try an idea and it's a dud, but boy, you learn from a lot. And by just, you know, calling it a dud and moving on, it's just kind of a fun little so that's probably what I would use no doubts for as a message to someone. The other thing we do that I just love, we um, I started doing it with, you know, when something really, and again, mostly it comes from playing ball, but if something was way it didn't work, we'll say epic fail. So now we play this game that we call epic fail, and you'll say something like, when it's your turn, I am going to walk down the stairs. So you start walking down the stairs and then you fall. <laughs> you know, so you're doing that on purpose and then we all go, epic fail. It's <laughs> dangerous for you, my dear. I know. I said, I have to think of um, simpler things like, like Tim's was, I'm going to juggle these three balls. Of course, that was hardly fair because it's not something he knew how to do to start with. So he's making the rules. But, you know, something that, you know, would be easy to do and then you just make it an epic fail. But I just kind of like that fun... Um, so this is psychology, according to grandma, you know, <laughs> I think it's just kind of fun labeling things like that. And, you know, because it's just the whole silly idea of, uh, you know, <laughs> there are a whole lot of epic fails and duds <laughs> in life, right? Okay. And so for this one, I'm going to, oh, look what I did. Oh, don't do as I do. Okay. I don't talk. And, oh, I'm going to leave it. Can't I'm, I'm going to leave it, but yeah. I'm going to show you what I meant oh, to do. Oh, okay. but Tim, I can take it off because I do have an adhesive remover, but I'm not going to take it off. We'll just cover it up. See what I do with it. See, yeah. See how Tim I will figure it. something out. This is what I meant to do. I meant to put two lines in a row. <laughs> it's multitasking. It's not as easy as it used to be. This is what I meant. I knew I meant to do two, two rolls, but, you know, sometimes it's a... Do as I say, not as I do. And then we close this up. Okay, so how cool is that? And now Tim is going to decorate this. But I'm busy with my roof. I think, should we see how the roof turned out? Let's see. Oh, it turned out good. And so now to add my little dog, let's see which one. Uh, my roof hangs over a little more than hers, so you know what I'm going to do. This will be fun. You know, I love, we have a dog set and a punch. So that's where this came from, so you can do all these cool things. But I'm going to take this, and of course, I, it has to be sitting up here. This is not to scale. This is not this dog's house, you know. But, but you know what I would do? I would just pile up the dimensionals. Wow, which will be really fun, I think. And let's see if this looks like enough. Oh, no. No. Not enough. We could do more. And it probably would make sense to be doing two of them so we had a little more. But I'm thinking this will work. One, oh, let's one. do a couple more. <laughs> let's do one more. Okay. <laughs> this is a stamp as you go.
Now, how cool is that? Here's my dog in front of the house, and you do not see. The roof is on, and you do not see. Do you see how that glued dry? So it's just totally fine. And, of course, I could decorate it more like that, but I think how fun is that? And, of course, if I wanted this flatter, I just put the roof back a little more or cut it a little narrower. Yes, you can always put ribbon around a box to cover the tape, too, Julie says. That's right. Uh, ribbon or strips of paper can cover a lot of things. I'm going to go find my bird while Tim works on decorating. Here's what I did. I put a whole bunch of stuff in a bin here and said, now you can just decorate away. Decorate away. Okay. Well, the first thing I have to do is figure out what to do with that. So, and she didn't leave me enough for that mistake, so I got to find something else. Oh, do you want me to cut you something while I'm gone? Well, just something to put there. Do you want a little? Yeah. Another piece of that? Yes. I be nice. Thank that. you, my dear. Okay. Now, she did, she did tell me to do something, but I wasn't I was, I was only half listening, so um, this I might have to do it this way. Um, we're going to have words. We're going to have cows. Three cows. Karen says odd numbers. Here you be. Thank you, my dear. Okay, we're going to do that first because that's kind of sticky. I'll do it in your direction. But, oh, that's great. Not long enough though, but, but that's okay. I actually kind of, oh man, did I mess that up. Can you bring me another one, my dear? Okay, I think I I think I'll have to live with this. Oh, here you go. Oh, you can live with that. I can live with that. You can okay. you can live with that. If I had more time, I wouldn't have to live with it, but I'm gonna live with it. Okay, I gotta find a cow here. I'm gonna do a standing up cow up there, and I'm gonna have the cow off the paper. Now, something's wrong here. I've used this before. Okay. Cute. Cute. I gotta make room for certain things. Okay, we're gonna make the, the cow doing the splits. We're gonna do the cow doing the splits down there. We're going to put some words up there, but we don't, we have to stamp the words first. Dream big. Party till the cows come home. I like that. So we're going to do that in this thing. Party till the cows come home. And this is an aside, but Mary is saying that the doghouse would be cute for favors for animal shelter get togethers. It certainly would. When you think of fundraisers, that kind of stuff. Yep. Tim probably would have liked a thousand cows, you know, but. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what am I doing? I was supposed to put this down first. Well, it's up to you. Well, I know it, but it's, it was such a good idea. Um, cows it going? Cows it going? You're utterly fantastic. Over the moon for you. And party till the cows come home. And dream big. That doesn't make any sense. Is that a cow, is that a cow message? Dream big? <laughs> dream big? I don't know. I'm going to do, you're utterly fantastic. Okay, you're utterly fantastic. Isn't that nice? Now, we've got to figure out what to do with this.
but I'd have to cut it. I got a dirty finger because I'm getting dirt. I'm getting stuff all over this. Okay, where's your cutter? The cutter is under here. Yep. Okay. All right. There we go. Too much stuff right around here, but you guys know that. I am really winging it today. Where's the line? There's something wrong with this. Where's the edge? Or you just do it like this? You just pick, because it's gonna cut right there. Okay. This isn't the cutter we usually use. <laughs> you can tell we're more uh, choppers. I'm sorry, are, are people saying, yeah. Tim? Get on with it, Tim. Get and, on with and, it. And do it in the frame so yeah. we can see what and, you're doing. And Karen Dixon did say you could peel the cows off, you know, and put them on, but you know. Karen! You know, but Tim's not going to do that, so. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm getting there. Oops. Now you guys know why I have him go last, you know, so. <laughs> Okay, so Tim, this is how Tim saves the day. Not bad. Whoops, what happened here? Oh, I guess I didn't put that cow on. Did I? I didn't. So that would be your chance to put on red if you wanted another spot. Oh, you know? that's right. This is the weirdest thing. I am really sorry. So Can for you all tell? of those who uh, people that send me messages saying, I wish my husband would sit and craft with me, now you will believe me. Tim has never in his life sat and crafted with me. He only performs with the camera and he doesn't plan. <laughs> I don't. So it's all just, you know, good time, Tim. <laughs> yeah, those cows are just really cute, aren't they? Yes. I think that turned out great. And what's inside? Milk does. See, who, who isn't going to want that? Milk. Milk, oh. <laughs> milk, the udder. I put the udder below the red so it shows up. Oh, right. I really did. I did that on purpose. Okay, so it worked. Okay, now this, I don't know. This, is this going to your mother? Um, I'm, I, well, I don't know. That could go to her too, you know. They, but, you know, they could get used to these fancy little treats. <laughs> Here, put that back on. <laughs> but aren't these just fun ideas? And here's the little one with both birds on. I think they'll just love that. Uh, so this is just perfect for little party favors, and this is just fun. So when you look at this, there are a lot of gifts that we give. You know, it could be a gift of gloves or, you know, it doesn't have to be candy. Gloves? But it's, <laughs> I'm just trying to think, you know. Um, That's <laughs> just, random. It's so hot. It's very random when it's this hot. But it's just the one simple idea of a way to wrap something up and just make it kind of extra special. You know, because so often, I think it's just the little thoughtful gifts that are so fun. And then, you know, sure, you sure just make it something. My shirt. I'm, I'm colorblind, so maybe oh, that doesn't. Okay, 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 yeah. Yeah. But there you go, Tim. Okay. Next, I'll start um, taking fabric and <laughs> working with the shirts. Right. But anyway, so these were fun ideas, and I hope you see from this how fun it is to you can start with what your candy is and then work out from there in designing your gift packages. So we'll do more of these in the future, but that's kind of what I wanted to cover for today. So again, remember. Kathy said they're so dang cute. She wanted to sound like a farmer. Oh. So dang cute. <laughs> so remember, it's only a few more days for the mystery box, and then we have some fun things coming up in August, so we'll be talking about those next week. August? That means the state fair. Yes. Which yes. I really, really yes. like, because yes. I like cows. I like yep. farm stuff. And next Monday, and tractors. I will put a thing up, we're going to do chatting over cards an hour later, because we are um, going to the... Burial in Fort Snelling Cemetery Terry, for our friend Warren, who died. And then we're doing a picnic, so we'll just get home a little later. So that will work out. But I'll put a reminder on. But thanks, guys. Have a wonderful weekend. If you're here in the cities, we're going to go to the... Out in uh, Shakopee, we're going to go to the Rubber Stamp Show. I used to do a booth there for a couple years. I don't anymore, but it's still fun to go see what's new. So if any of you are there, look for us and say hi. And... And Have I a wonderful will, weekend. And you can read some comments so I can go turn the... <laughs> Bye. Can you tell... I, I, I got to say one more thing. Can, oh. you, can you tell I'm kind of rusty?
<laughs> the way I put that card together, oh, I'm not on my game. Well, and of course, Timmy, you can't see, so you can blame that yes, on everything. Yes, okay. everything looks... <laughs> okay, thanks, you guys. Uh, we love having you in our life. So, as always, this was fun, and see you on Monday. Bye. Bye. <laughs>